Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix welcoming you to episode 6 of Kirby's Epic Yarn. So last time we did the Pyramid Sands level in Hotland, the very first level in that world of course. And now we're going to do the minigame that was unlocked. The Hide and Seek minigame, or the Hide and Zeek minigame. Haha. Ha. Clever pun there, um... Who made this game? Was it Nintendo? I, I don't know, whatever. I don't know if it's a thing, because I know it wasn't originally it wasn't originally a Kirby game. So maybe not. Anyways, find everyone in three minutes. This should be fairly easy, I think. Okay, I'm gonna little beavers that don't have bodies. Jeez, I just posted that episode of Majora's Mask with the freaking beavers in it and now I'm chasing around these freaking beavers. So many beavers, so little time. Alright. Ah, just destroy you with your own gauze. So, what can I talk about for now? Um, well, I suppose I can talk about what's been going on in my life, which is basically nothing. Uh, I have all this week off of school, which is pretty awesome, because all my teachers are going to like some kind of convention or something to learn how to teach better, I guess. I don't know. All I know is that I get school off, and that is good and dandy. And I've been like, apparently a lot of other people are getting like snow days or sick days or stuff too, so I don't feel as special, but it's still nice. Still very nice. Good chance to get some recording done and stuff. Alright. Uh, and another another thing that's been going on lately, um, my Wii has been randomly crashing. Like, I don't know why it's starting now, because it's never like crashed or overheated before, but randomly when I'm like playing a game... Uh, usually Okami, because I've been playing that one more than anything. But randomly, it'll just, like, say, like, that it's unable to read the game disc anymore, and the game disc is perfectly fine. It's, like, clean and everything, so. I don't know. And it's making the same kind of sound like it's about to crash right now, so. I just hope it doesn't. Because that would be pretty devastating to crash right in the middle of a freaking recording. Did I start my timer? I did. Okay. Just making sure. Alright. Where's this last asshole beaver? Oh god. And there we go. You found all of your friends! Yay! I love my friends. Friendly little beavers. Alright. Some of these can actually get pretty hard, these mini games, later on, because they don't give you much time in later levels. So it can get quite annoying. And what kind of fabric do we get this time? Oh, the red dot fabric? That's what it looks like. Hey, what do you know? That's like the third dot fabric in a row. Silly Zeke and your obsession with dots. Alright. <laughs> I whipped him and he fell asleep. That's so random. Alright. Now, uh, before we move on with the next level in Hotland, I'm going to go ahead and check out these apartments. Just to see if I can like actually furnish any of them right now. Because, I don't know, I've got a few more items, so I might be able to furnish something. Let's see here. Uh, no, not put away. There's nothing to put away, except maybe that window in the back. Alright, so, put this rainbow arch in. And, do we have whatever that is? Uh, is it this? Yeah, what do you know? It's a camel. It's not like a dinosaur with a bowl on its head or something, like I thought it was. Yes, what an amazing look. And, we have a new neighbor now. Who is this? This is Beatrix. Obviously, it play on the name Beatrix. But it has been yarnified. Alright, so, if you talk to her, she has another new mini game for us. Except this one is not hide and seek. This is a uh, bead collection. This one is probably the hardest mini game that I've come up against so far. I've come up against like the first three kinds of mini games in my first run through the game. And this, in my opinion, is probably the hardest one collect six, well not this particular challenge, but just the general minigame itself. 600 beads in a minute 30. Alright, let's do it. The first few aren't too bad, there's one later on that gave me a hell of a lot of trouble. It's like collect a thousand beads in 20 seconds or something, I don't know. It's really crazy. And, ooh, we get a transformation here. Cool. Probably a UFO by the looks of it. Here we go! And... I think Be yeah, Beatrix is just going to follow you this whole time, just making sure you collect all the beads. 
And don't steal them all for yourself, like a jackass. Alright. Yeah, so, some games I've been playing lately, uh, Okami is definitely up there, I've been playing that, like, to hell. It's one of those games, like, when I first got it and I played, I played for a little bit, but I got bored of it eventually, because the start of the game is actually pretty slow, in my opinion. So, um, I didn't get too far into it when I first started, but when, once I got, like, up to the point... Well, pretty much near in the area that Choga Connor is at in his LP of it right now, Ryoshima Coast. That's when the game started really picking up for me. And wow, this is a this is an articulate design. That's cool. You collected 600 beads, yay! Without even thinking about it, really. Yeah. And my favorite area in Okami is I don't want to spoil anything, so I won't really say. But oh, I'll just say that Emil hasn't reached it yet. So. Hmm. And what's this fabric? It's not a dot fabric, at least. The happy flower fabric. So happy. So, so happy. Another game I've been playing a lot lately that I really just started playing a lot more today is, um, Paper Mario, the original one. And that game is fun as hell. Can't... I, I haven't played it in, like, so many years that I hardly remember anything about it, so it's kind of like a new, new-ish experience for me. But, it's definitely one of the most, like, fun RPGs ever, in my opinion. Alright. No, keep going. We don't have much time here. Only 30 seconds. And we're not really close yet. Oh, crap. What the hell? Stop. You have to drive. Hello. Oh, this guy will help. Definitely. Wow. Okay. And, I got it. I was beginning to think that would be the first challenge of this that I failed, but not this time, Governor. Here we go. 200 beads? Yep. I would like to introduce... No! Damn it! Okay, I gotta figure out what this guy's problem is with his brothers and whatnot. And we got a new bead challenge. Hell, this might just be all like a challenge video, I don't know. And maybe we'll find out about that guy's brother. See, I'm not leaving this place until I find his brothers. Hotland fabric. That's cool. Why is it that when I play this game now, I think of Marvel vs. Capcom 3? That's so random. I haven't even played that game. All I've seen is, like, footage of it. Like, I saw that one video from Durden 77. Now, that's all I can think about when I play this game for some reason. For some random, obtuse reason. Alright, hello. And die! Sweet. Yeah, if you can ever, like, grab one... No, crap! Ah. Uh, okay. That's not good. Most definitely not. Yeah, see, if you can ever grab something like this that's, like, pointy so you can throw it through everything, that definitely do that, because that's the way to get the most beads. It really is. Alright. I think we can still get this. We still have enough time. Is that 209 beads? Is that my goal? No. That would be... S that's just a stupid number. If it was 209. I'm pretty sure it's 200. Alright, now. Uh, what else has been going on with me? Oh god, I might lose this, actually. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna lose! I'm gonna lose! Aren't I? Look at that, I lost. Wow. That's like the first time that I've lost one of these minigames. Well, there's a first for everything, as they say. Ah, uh, so what else have I been doing? Not much. I should be working on, like, a school project, though. Stupid school project about Napoleon. Like, I know about him. I don't know about, like, the Napoleon bars. Like, the ice cream bars. Those things are good. Actually, I don't think they're called Napoleon ball bars. They're just something... The name reminds me of Napoleon for some reason. Uh, feel free to tell me what it, the name actually is in the comments. If you want. If you No, don't pull it apart. There we go. Alright, I probably don't need to worry too much about- CRAP! Too much about crap, yeah. I definitely don't need to worry too much about crap. Ah, oh, come on. BANG! Jeez. I'm resorting to making sound effects, that's how bad I suck at commentary. Yeah, this is a good game to vlog over, at least, though, because really, you're doing a lot of repetitive stuff a lot of the time, so... 
it's hard to come up with like commentary actually about the game. It's easier to do that in stuff like uh, Majora's Mask and Mario RPG even to an extent. Am I gonna fail this? Again? I just failed. <laughs> Damn it! It's because I keep getting hit, isn't it? Oh no! It's not because I keep getting hit. No. Oh no, you say? Oh noes. Yeah, it looks like this is gonna shape out to be a completely mini game slash vlogging episode. Uh, is there anything else I can vlog about though? Let me try and think. Uh, oh, for those of you, for those Pokemon fans out there, I actually tweeted about this slash put it on Facebook because my Facebook and Twitter are linked, as many of you know. Um, f yeah. So for the Pokemon fans out there that are watching, if you have a fourth generation Pokemon game and you then and you have like a Wi-Fi connection, then you can choose. You can go on Mystery Gift on your fourth gen Pokemon game. And all this week, you will be able to get a shiny Suicune on any of your fourth gen Pokemon games. That's Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, or Soul Silver. So that's definitely pretty cool. Uh, last the last two weeks, there have been like well, last week you could have gotten a shiny Entei, I think it was, and the week before you could have gotten a shiny Raikou. So I'm sorry if you missed either of those, but hey, you can get still a shiny Suicune if you really want that. It's pretty neat. All right, yes, I got it. Thank you. Had a feeling that I would get it that time. Yeah, so I would say that's probably the really the first hard one. All right, and it doesn't look like we unlocked another one, so let's get our fabric. Give me my fabric. And we get that's really ugly. <laughs> uh, the grassland fabric. Okay. So apparently Beatrix has just given us the fabrics that correspond to each world. We got the hot land fabric, the grassland fabric. Now I sound like Boonhauer. No, that's not his name. I forget his name. But it's like from King of the Hill. Boonhauer. That's it. Not Boonheimer. Alright, dude. Tell me where your brothers are. Are they around here somewhere? Or are they just like... Wait. No. Is that... Oh! How am I so stupid? No. Oh my god. Face palm. Ow. That hurt. Okay. Well, it seems that my brothers have decided to meet up to set up their shops here. Right next to one another. Hmm. Well, I suppose that makes things convenient. So it's like a convenience store, haha. -ha. Hello there, I'm Shay's Wool. If you need furniture, come to old Shay's. I'm- oh, I missed that. Oh well. Uh, if you really want to read that, and pause the video. Alright. And so we have a fabric shop here and a furniture shop, apparently. I never knew about this, what the hell. Uh, I hope I don't need to, like, actually buy any of these to furnish apartments. I don't think I will. Leave the shop? Yes. And what about the fabric shop? Eh, nothing of interest, really. Alright, so I guess if that decoration side quest of yours to decorate your own pad here, Kirby's pad, if that interests you, then go right ahead. Alright, do we have anything for apartment 202? I somehow doubt it. What time am I at? Oh my god, almost 14 minutes. This is ridiculous. I've literally spent this entire episode in Quilty Square. I wanted to get at least like one, one level done today, but didn't really happen. All right, I need to get a better look at this. Uh, I don't think I have any of those really. No, it doesn't really look like it. All right then. Um, well, let's just end off here then. Okay. Uh, is there anything else I can do? In the meantime, because I know I'm not going to get another level done unless I extend it to like 20 minutes here, which I could do. Do I want to do that? Well, I guess I'll at least head to Hotland and see what, what this place is about. What this next level is like. Um. Jeez, this is going to be such a boring video. Alright. So it doesn't really look like there's anything I can do here. There's the boss door. Sadly, we can't access that yet. Alright, so, um, I might actually put out two videos of this day. I don't know. Maybe. I'll probably put out another video of this tomorrow, because we've been lacking Kirby videos for a long time now. So, in, I guess I'm going to have to end it off here. Sorry for the short-ish episode get this time, guys. Uh, well, 15 minutes. That's not exactly short, per se. But, 
next time we will take on the lava landing instead of just random boring mini games. So, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you weren't too bored. And until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.